Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Roddy! I'm Marty. Welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, everybody. We are continuing The trial with... ladder! Yes, yeah, so we're continuing Turnabout Serenade. We're finally on the trial ladder of day three. Yeah, yep. I believe that's the last to be continued for this uh, oh. case. Oh, so we're just going to split up or we're going to have the longest episode imaginable. Or or we'll have multiple recording sessions. Okay. One or the other. Anyhow. July 10th, 1.40 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby, number two. Apollo, I can't believe it! It really happened during our second act? And right in the middle of Lemuel's performance? Why she was in that air vent? And that switch and the flaming guitar? When you link it all together, that's what you end up with. I knew you had what it took. Hey! Look who's there! Uh, Daddy! Mr. Wright! You... believed in me? Not really. <laughs> huh? I just thought that'd make a cooler entrance than, say, hiya. Why do I even bother hoping? Where have you been lately, Daddy? You haven't been coming to the office at all. Ah, uh, sorry about that, Trucy. I'm on a secret mission. Badgeworth? Maybe? <laughs> secret? You mean like, you're undercover? Like Mr. Little! <laughs> Only shorter and not as well dressed. Oh no, what if you're shot too, Daddy? <laughs> Would I do a thing like that to you? Anyway, I'm off for a while again. Huh? You're leaving? Oh, one thing before I go. What? Good luck. Right. Um, is that all you came to say? I think you have things pretty much under control. You'll get Machi Tobaye off the hook, no doubt. Yeah, but... But you're after that detective, aren't you? Darian Crescend. It won't be easy proving he did it. Especially not under the current court system. The current court system? What did Prosecutor Gavin say during the trial? Your case is based on one fragile assumption. Namely that our diva divine is telling the truth. But what about all the proof? The brooch? And the switch? A piece of jewelry and a lyrical blunder? There are plenty of other ways to explain these things. The flaming guitar, too. All because you lack definitive proof of their connection to the case. But... If the sultry songstress is lying, your case melts like butter in a frying pan, leaving behind the faintly singed scent of failure. So what do I do?! Like I said, good luck. And be aware that it will be impossible to prove his guilt by conventional methods. Ugh. Oh, that reminds me. I have something to give you from our detective friend. Detective Sky, Emma? Let's see, this bag of snacks here was meant for me. Ah, here it is. What are those, Daddy? They don't look like very good snacking material. They were found at the scene. Analysis of the fragments revealed traces of gunpowder. Gunpowder? Probably a firecracker or something similar, like the ones kids are into these days. These fragments were found under the sofa at the scene of the crime, actually. Under the sofa? Hey, Apollo! That's where we found that little device thingy! Right. This. Well, finally, some evidence that makes sense! Burnt fragments added to the court record. That's all for me, I suppose. See you after the verdict. Maybe. Right. Every man has an igniter inside him. Excuse me? Find Darian Crescent's igniter and set it off. And he walked out the door, just like... Just like a magician, normally. normally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what does he want us to do? No conventional methods? What's that supposed to mean? I guess we just have to take his advice and hope it makes sense when the time comes. I guess. We're almost at the finish line. Hang in there, Trucy. And Machi, he's kind of the Machi's, one on trial. At least Machi can understand English and understands what's happening. <laughs> That's true. July 10th at 1.55 p.m. District Court, courtroom number three. Wow, what a, what a trial this has turned out to be. <laughs> Court is now back in session. Prosecutor Gavin, where is Detective Crescent? In the witness lounge, ready, ready to be called at any time. 
very well. Greatness wounds. Might I add, I don't believe any of this. He, Darian, was the first detective I ever worked with. We stopped working together when he moved to Criminal Affairs Division Free. But his guitar playing, it fires my imagination. That's nice, but it has nothing to do with the matter at hand. <laughs> Correct. Oh, I know. Air forehead. Yeah, whatever. Very well, I'll call the final witness to the stand. Detective Darian Crescent. What's up, bros? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Name and occupation, please. Darian Crescent. Detective Criminal Affairs Division 3, baby. <laughs> That's the International Affairs Division for those of you who didn't know. <laughs> And I'm guitarist for the Gaviniers. Maybe you've heard of us. Do you fully understand the circumstances under which you stand before us today? Yeah, I understand, Your Honor. What I don't understand is how you let this happen, partner. Poor <laughs> <laughs> You gave me your word I wouldn't be standing here. The situation's changed, Darian. And don't call me partner. Wow! Pfft, <laughs> so much for old friends. I see what you're doing, Darian. You're pressing the prosecution. Your Honor, if we could begin the trial... Yes, it's high time we did. After all, Taco Bell's only open for so long. <laughs> <laughs> it's open so long! <laughs> oh, yeah, but the, the nearest Taco Bell in Japan, California is like a five-hour drive. <laughs> oh, I thought, it, I thought it was gonna be... You know how sometimes it's like, oh no, we have to go to like this photo development place, but it's only open for like three hours on Thursdays. <laughs> <laughs> this one Taco Bell, it's the best Taco Bell that you've ever seen, but it's also only open for two hours in the afternoon. <laughs> two hours every Thursday and every Saturday. Judges eat free. That's why he wants to That's go. That's why he wants to go. <laughs> Let's hear your testimony. You may begin with your response to Lamuwa's testimony. If, in fact, you have anything to say about it. Oh, I got plenty to say. At least he's saying something. <laughs> Wine must be a national pastime in Borgania. And wherever you're from, Mr. Justice. Ha! <laughs> Shut up, Sharknado. Conventional methods are out the window, huh? Here goes nothing. Darian's rebuttal. Oh, boy. The diva's lying, plain and simple. She's got nothing to back up her story. Okay. In the first place, she never heard my voice. Well, that's whatever. <laughs> she forgot the words because she heard gunshots. As if. That can happen. Didn't Detective Emma Sky hear those gunshots during the first set anyway? The shooting took place when I was on stage, man. Okay, well, the shooting technically took place during the second act. We, we as Emma and Justice mm. heard the shots in the third set. Yep. However, it could be that they faked those same shots again. Right. Okay. Because we were, we were in the audience during the second set, right? Yeah. While we were like, yeah. wow, look at this cool stuff. So then we wouldn't have heard anything at all. Emma, I don't know what she was doing. Snackoos? <laughs> lots, lots of snackoos? <laughs> Actually, no, she didn't get called in till later. We didn't see her till later. No. She was on, she was bodyguard duty or security for the whole thing. I thought that she got a call mid show, like, ugh. Freaking Freulein Detective, I need you by my side. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> for body, for, for uh, security. Fine. <laughs> <Dang. laughs> this is snack who night. I was about to say, <laughs> you better <laughs> have food for me. <laughs> so you claim Lamawa's testimony was a lie? Hey, don't get me wrong. I dig what she's doing trying to protect that kid. And she's got the court eating vague statements out of her hand just because she's blind. Um, wow. You go too far, Darian. Look, all I'm saying is, you've got a reliable witness. Why not listen to the detective? Detective Sky? Hmm, I see. Mr. Justice, you may begin the cross-examination. He didn't waste any time finding our weak spot. So, okay, keep going. I can't do this with Lamawa's testimony alone. I'll have to find some other way to prove that the shooting took place. Uh, earlier. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is, before we press any of the statements, I'm gonna watch his movements. Before, oh, okay. Before we press anything, because I want to see if he does something different for certain ones. Okay, well, that only ha that only will be important if the bracelet's highlighted. Oh, Their okay. Their rebuttal. So it's most it's usually grayed out, which means that there's nothing, like, to perceive. Okay. Hold it! So I thought for sure it'd just be like, touched your shoulder, which <laughs> means you sustained an injury from a gunshot! <laughs> <laughs> and then he just magically hid for the entire investigation and first day on the day of no, the murder. he could totally... Okay, he could have been, <laughs> you like, You think this is the car. only shark outfit that I have? 
<laughs> he could have been like Von Karma and been like, you know what? I've had a bullet in my shoulder for 40 years. I don't know if you need to go to the doctor. I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> Tyrion, I have had a bullet in my shoulder for 40 years. Aren't you only 24? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, but but that's similar, like, eh, I can but, hide. When Valkarma got shot, it shoots through your clothes, and there's gonna be blood coming out of, like, your shoulder. Costume you design. If people thought that a guitar getting set on fire was uh, part of the show, it could totally just be like, oh man, his heart's burning. That doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> I agree. But you know what? This, these, this doesn't always make sense. You don't have any proof that she was lying. Ha ha ha. Oh yeah, kid? You saying I lied? Yeah. No, I'm just saying, uh... Apollo, glare back at him! I couldn't help it! I flinched my reflex! Been there, done that. Detective Crescent! Yeah, what do you want? Um, nothing. Apollo, chin up, back straight, you're wilting! This guy's hard as nails! It makes Waki look downright cooperative! He's not that hard. Look, there's no way the diva remembers my voice. I sound like every surfer dude ever made. Not really. <laughs> Not surfer, uh, like, punk rocker. Punk rocker, yeah, maybe. <laughs> she never heard my voice. You never talked to her even though you were playing in the same concert? Not a word, as far as I can recall. Wow! But weren't there planning sessions or something? Gavin took care of all that himself. Darian wasn't involved in any of the meetings with her. That's ridiculous. Uh, well, she... Keep in mind, her performance, he wasn't on stage for, and she wasn't performing in the other parts, so... Yeah, but if you're gonna be... They had to do at least one dress rehearsal. You you mean to tell me that they didn't, like, once talk when they were, like, eating between sessions for <laughs> dress rehearsals? Like, even the people that she, you don't... She actually did talk to him, but he was stuffing his face with snack and it's like, oh, like, who are you? <laughs> 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 that's, why, that's why he didn't recognize the voice. I no, only I... heard him when he had snack who's in his mouth. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. <laughs> As if you can just go around remembering everyone's voice like that anyway. You can! <laughs> Only an idiot would believe that! You can if you're blind and you're like, you rely more on your ears. <laughs> this laughing animation's so bizarre. He's a good... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's super weird. <laughs> Lamawa's hearing is very sensitive. I think, I'm picturing his laugh as like, you know how when you're laughing so hard there's actually nothing coming out of your mouth and you're just like... <laughs> <laughs> and then you occasionally yeah. have like a random... Thing. Like, I think that's his laugh. He just starts laughing, and then he's wow. like... Wow. I okay. think that's his laugh. She could remember him if she heard him. I'm sure of it. I just can't prove it. And I need proof. She forgot the words because she heard gunshots. As if. As I'm if. Zigbar. So we know she missed the words. The mixing board proved it. Oh, yeah. There was a mistake. But blaming it on gunshots is just a lame excuse. What do you mean? Mixing board proves what? It proves there was a mistake in the song. A missed cue. So? She just flubbed it up, big time. That's all. She spins this story about a gunshot to protect the kid, and to cover for her own goof. Man, I'd have to hand it to her if she wasn't sticking it to me at the same time. Here's the thing. Darian, watch what you say. Lemewa is an artist. She just flubbed it up? <laughs> That's no small accusation for a performer of her caliber. <laughs> She got to you, all right. I can see it in your eyes. I can tell you, most of her stuff is so pretentious, it's way over my head. What the heck? I'm detecting a rift in the Gavineer's ranks. Anyway, she's too close to the defendant. Her testimony can't be trusted. You ask me, I'd go with Detective Sky's story at the drop of a pick. I mean, it, he does have a he point. He does have a point. But he's also being a huge jackpot oh, in he, the process. He is, for sure. <laughs> One of the things that I just realized is that if he's not in any of the planning meetings, that means he never met the magician. That's true. Ever. Which means he would- That also explains why he missed the cue in his song, because he never practiced. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> he's just projecting out the lamb wall. He's oh, like, I, I'm an artist, I don't need to do any of this crap. And he's oh, uh, ten. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, no, and some of it, too, is like, if you don't actually run across all the parts of the show, this is part of why they have everyone at the show. For the rest of rehearsals, even if you're not in the scene, is if something goes wrong, you know what needs to come next. And you yeah. know how everything flows. You're also supposed to read the whole script. Oh yeah, you are supposed to read the whole script. But that but... doesn't stop people from not doing that. Oh yeah, that does not stop people. For sure. I've had a couple shows with that. That's really bad. <laughs> I've had a couple shows where I had to cover, like, five people's lines. Mm -hmm. Actually, I was there too. So I hear. Which means you heard them too, right? The gunshots. No. Yes, we heard gunshots. 
Neither I nor Emma actually saw the shooting, mind you. Heh. <laughs> I guess you and Lemuel got the same excuse then. We know one thing for certain here. There were gunshot-like sounds that emanated from that room during the third set. What we must determine is whether those sounds were actually gunshots. Machi heard them too. Remember he said he ran for the air duct when he heard them? So, how do we figure out just what those gunshots during the first set were? Maybe it was like... That would be ridiculous. What? But maybe it's like you... You know how like people will check in and be like, How are you doing with like... Like, your, your ex coming up next, they'll have, like... Especially on Broadway, they'll have, like, oh, this I'm is sorry, your... did you say your act is coming up next, or your ex is coming no, up next? No, your act. <laughs> your act. But occasionally, like, on Broadway or whatever, they'll be like, oh, this is, like, your act two call. Like, you're, mm -hmm. you gotta be ready in, like, 15 minutes. And, like, people will come into the rooms, too, to make sure everything looks good. I wonder if somebody walked in and was just like, oh, bloody scene, um, how can I possibly explain this? And then they, like, tried to make gun-like sounds, and then they... What? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to justify in my brain what the heck happened. Okay, you are right about a lot of stuff in these cases, but when you're wrong, you I'm are wrong. really wrong. I know that. Sometimes it's just it's like, great. oh yeah, this thing. <laughs> Shooting to a place where I was on stage, man. <laughs> that could have been what the shooter wanted us to think. I'll tell you what the shooter, that kid, wants you to think. He wants you to think the diva heard me in that room. Ah! I'm back to relying on Lama Watt's testimony! As much as I'm enjoying the Darian and Forehead show, there is no need for such tempers. Don't make us into some comedy duo! Did <laughs> this mean the Gavin and Darian show's cancelled? Neither of your claims can be proven or disproved. We could argue for days like this and get nowhere. Prosecutor Gavin is quite right. Yeah. This court will hear no further discussion on this topic without new facts. New facts, huh? He's pretty eager to paint Mamiwa as a liar, isn't he? Yeah, because her testimony is basically our entire case. Hmm, this is tough. What do we do? I've got a few ideas. I just need to find another way to prove it didn't happen when he says it did. Alright, so... He was lying. Well, I think it actually might be the first statement we have to press. Nothing to back up her story. What about that brooch? Hmm, good point. The witness's statement is clearly faulty, Your Honor! Mr. Justice, the music is still going. That means you get a penalty. <laughs> I thought that would work, because the, that clearly justifies that she either was in the room... But she also testified the other trial day that, like, when we were in the room with Matus, she popped in for like a second, that's when the brooch fell off. So... Time lapse is making no sense today. At all. They're like, it's 20 seconds. No, it's two minutes! What's a few seconds between friends? It's like, I don't even know. She never heard my voice. She forgot the words as if, sure. Didn't Detective Emma Sky hear those gunshots during the third set? Yes. Shooting took place when I was on stage. No. So probably it was the last statement. <laughs> wow, he looks like a shark. <laughs> Look out, Jaws. Darn it. Um, probably let's present something on that statement. Shooting took place on stage. Well... Oh, let's look at the the things. The, the thing that we got from Mr. Wright that probably could have been forged. Burnt fragments? Yeah, Possibly a firecracker? Em. Let's check them. So, you think this was some kind of firecracker? Yeah, or one of those noisemakers like you shoot off at New Year's? Did you know that in China they use firecrackers on New Year's to scare off evil? That ex- Oh, I never knew that. So it's kind of the same thing. Really? I had no idea. Well, did you know this? It takes more than 500 peanuts to make one 12-ounce jar of peanut butter. At least my useless fact had something to do with the evidence. I think the peanut fact is interesting. Well, if there's a firecracker, then that probably- Okay, then it's probably not that statement. It's probably- the third set one. It's probably that statement. So you think that yeah, she heard the show, firecrackers yeah. instead? Got it. Some things were found at the crime scene after yesterday's trial. What things? The first was this small device. That's the remote triggered igniter. I swear, if 
Phoenix Wright forged another piece of evidence for us so we can He's win. <laughs> She's like, I almost cost this dude his career. I'm gonna lose my mind. Correct. And one more thing. What are those? The remains of something burnt? Not another guitar, I hope. Traces of gunpowder were found on those fragments. We have a report that it was something like a firecracker. Oh, okay, then it wasn't forged. Eh? Uh, how did Gavin know about this? What? You think Detective Sky works for you? I received the report this morning before coming here. That's when I made my decision, actually. What decision is this, Prosecutor Gavin? I registered Darian as a witness in today's trial. Just in case. Darian's like, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> this raises another possibility. Those gunshot-like sounds during the third set could have been two firecrackers rigged to go off by remote control. Oh. Wow, look at those boots. I know. Match his shirt. <laughs> You've got an active imagination, don't you? But you shouldn't say every little thing you think. Your explanation there seems a bit too convenient to me. How so? So you're saying that these firecrackers just happened to go off right when two witnesses came walking by? Ha! <laughs> That's right. Darian was out on stage when it happened, Apollo. How would he know someone was backstage right then? If a firecracker goes off in the forest and there's no one to hear, <laughs> you get my drift? Why go for the trouble, man? <laughs> Urk! Maybe it's because of the headset. How do I explain this? Everyone has to have a headset, and someone's headset fell off okay. in front of the door. So maybe he's mm. like, so maybe there was a little bit of static, and he's like, what the heck happened? Okay, time to shoot these things off! <laughs> <laughs> he may not look it, but Darian is a gifted detective. Yeah, sure. Show any weakness and he's sure to find it. He may not look it, partner. Gee, thanks, man. <laughs> that reminds me. I happened to pass through that very hallway several times that day myself. And I saw something odd there just before the third set. Something odd? A headset. Yeah. The kind all the band and staff members were wearing. That's right! We picked this up in front of the door to that dressing room. What if that headset wasn't dropped but placed? And what if it was turned on? You could hear what was going on in that hallway! Um... Even if you were out on stage! It wouldn't be that good of a microphone. <laughs> at all. Headset ones... It, yeah, but Emma was like yelling like, and like... <laughs> that's true, that's true. But that would be like... You know how when somebody's on the phone, and they, ha they have the volume turned up just enough so you can hear it, but nobody else, then it's just like... <laughs> Maybe someone is hard of hearing. Maybe. <laughs> Whenever my our mom's on the phone, I can always tell who's on the other line. Usually. Yeah. But that's fine. <laughs> Feh. Whose side are you on, Gavin? Listen to me, Darian. There are no sides in a court of law. Ha ha ha. Which is why I now turn to you, Air Forehead. Yeah. I have a question for you. What's up? Huh? For me? The igniter and the burnt fragments that were found at the scene of the crime? It's certainly a possibility that they were part of a ruse to fake the sound of gunshots. Yeah. Throw the headset from the hallway into the mix and you could fabricate an alibi. Yeah. But we're still no closer to proving anything. Those gunshots might have been real or fake. We can't say. Uh, you've raised the possibility that the shots heard during the third set were faked. Now you need to prove the other half of the case. The other half? Look, I'll just tell him. He wants you to prove the thing went down in the second act. While our little piano player was on stage. They're right, Gavin. Indeed. If you can't prove that, then to continue this cross-examination would be pointless. Can we just show the autopsy mm. report and be like, okay, if you get shot in the shoulder, <laughs> you can't bleed out in five minutes. You probably will bleed out in a f little longer time. I mean, you might be able to bleed out in five minutes. I don't know. <laughs> he has, like, the most ridiculous <laughs> blood. It's like Sweeney Todd. <laughs> Is it like Sweeney Todd? I've never seen that. I haven't either, but I've heard, like, for, it's like, bloody. the throat slitting scenes, like, oh, yeah. they used, like, pumps to, like, <laughs> pump blood out of his That would be funny. It's pretty over the top, I've heard. Hmm, well, Mr. Justice, can you prove the crime took place during the second set? Yes. Uh, yeah, I think. <laughs> you better know, Apollo, otherwise we're through. It can't be proven! You make it sound like someone else is going to come along and do it for you. Let's continue with the cross-examination then, shall we? Witness your testimony, if you would. This isn't going to be easy. Yeah. I need some decisive proof and fast. Heh, <laughs> you ready, kid? Cause I am. He's doing another 
shooting, shooting to place during the second set? If you're so sure of it, see your proof. Wow, I wonder which one it's on. <laughs> yeah. But the gunshots heard during the third set could have been... What? Some kind of setup? I've heard that one before. Uh. We need proof, Apollo. We need to prove that the shooting took place during the second set. Well, if you know how to do that, I'm all ears. Maybe the gunshots are the key after all. What do you mean? Well, Lamiwa said she heard them, right? Right in the middle of her illusion when she was up above the ceiling. When she forgot the words to the song, yeah. If you can prove the gun was shot right when she missed those lyrics. We're home free, I think. True. Not easy, but true. Is there some way to prove that? Let's take a look at, through our evidence. Maybe there's something in there. Hey, aren't you supposed to be cross-examining me? You're just talking back and forth. <laughs> Try to refrain from private discussions during the cross-examination, Mr. Justice. Uh, right, Your Honor. Sorry. Just let me take a quick look for the court record. I just realized, why is it we, as the defense, are allowed to have two people behind the bar, but the <laughs> prosecution never does? Prosecution doesn't need help, because they're always experienced. Yeah, okay, I think uh, I, Winston Payne could use a person behind him. Oh, I'm him. sure he could use a person behind him, but he's like, I've been doing this for 60 years! I know, I think it would be really cool if they had, like, a pair of twins or something as prosecution, <laughs> yes, and then they please. would work together. Or I'm basically picturing Eska and Desna. Yeah, me too, me too. I'm basically picturing that. He's clearly guilty. <laughs> no. My feet. Um, well, does the gun say? I wish the gun would just be like, this was last shot at 5.02. <laughs> nope, doesn't work like that. Doesn't work like that. Guns. Freaking guns. Um. Yeah. Maybe. The. No, the mixing board wouldn't tell us anything. Stop! Stop! I can't think. Okay, maybe the headset would say something? Is it broken? Can we look at it? 30 foot range. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna check it. Check it! Check it! We've already checked this out before, though. Oh, okay, then it's fine. I thought it would be like, this headset belonged to this person, because it was like, number four. <laughs> Traces of Daring Crescent's earwax was found on. <laughs> I mean, literally, though. Um, that would be the most. They don't. It doesn't go in your ear. It goes around your ear. No, much, the butt has to go in your ear. Not like in in. How much earwax would you need for it to be coming like out of your ear onto? If that you put thing? it in your ear, it can easily have. It just kind of sits here, though. It doesn't like go all the way in like earplugs. <laughs> Earbuds go in all the way. They don't go in all the way, all the way. Otherwise, they'll just fall out! They have to, like, be secured, but they don't go, like, all the way into your ear, like... You know how, like, when you... You have to, like... Um, yeah, not all the way, obviously, right. but, like, partially. Okay, okay. Earbuds, though, it would make more sense that there'd be earwax in them. <laughs> anyway! I hate earbuds. <laughs> I actually do. He would be a headphone guy. Although, how would that... Or maybe, like, a Bluetooth headset? Because his headphones would, like, crush he his hair. He plays really loud. Let's be honest. Yeah, he would just blast his boombox. <laughs> like too tall. Maybe it's because of the lyrics? The lyrics? How does that even make sense? I don't know. I'm thinking. You're on very the much wrong the track. wrong track. At first I thought it could be the mixing board because maybe like the gunshots would have picked it up on the mixing board. That would make literally no sense. Why would that make no sense? Because the mixing board was backstage. The mixing board is recording the concert. Yeah, but would it record what's happening on the headsets? Actually, yes, it would because Lame was was singing in the air vents and it was picking vents. up her voice. Okay, it could work. I thought it wouldn't work initially. It seems there was clear proof left behind, right here in Lame was song. Her song. What exactly is this um device, Feeny? A new variety of gramophone, perhaps? Come on, we just used this, and don't get me started on gramophone. This device was used to record the performance part by part. Part? You move the sliders to adjust the volume. Wow. Each instrument is adjustable separately, Lamoua's voice included. Ho oh, oh. ho! But what does this prove? According to Lamoua's testimony, at the moment of the shooting, she forgot the words to the song. 
Ah, you intend to examine the recording at that moment, ya. Yeah. We might even hear those gunshots! Exactly. Ha! Ridiculous! You're sweating bullets, bro. <laughs> How are you supposed to hear gunshots back in that dressing room out on stage? That's what I thought. Have you forgotten, Darian? We were all wearing these headsets. I w oh, good! Good, okay. Oh. We were all deeply involved in our performance. But Lemawad's headset would have picked up what she heard all the same. Then let's get to analyzing that recording. Right now! Lemawad stopped singing when she heard the shots fired. Find that spot and I'll find the gunshots. Which part is she? It was during the middle of the song. So I guess we'll just wait in here. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I cannot believe. Your Honor, listen closely to this part. Like, really closely. This is the track with Lamawa's vocals. I did hear something faintly there, yes! Why, it sounded like a gunshot! W what This has to be <laughs> some kind of mistake! <laughs> He's there. I believe a case has been made. Gunshots were heard during the second set. Which means Lamawa's testimony was true. Bruh! Whose side is he on? The prosecutor's no supposed side. to be- Order! So she was telling the truth about what she heard? It was the other man speaking, not Mr. Latus. Well, what did he say? It's over. Press the switch. Now. Just after that, there was a gunshot, and then the guitar caught on fire. Detective Crescend, you weren't on stage during the second set. You could have done it. Hmm, but why did we only hear one gunshot on the recording? Weren't two bullets fired from this weapon? Lamoa was moving through the air vent, Your Honor. She must not have been close enough for her mic to catch the first shot. Oh, also... Minor thing I realized, um, minor, very minor plot, oh, uh -huh. easily explainable. She's wearing her, like, blue cape. Oh, here, yeah. <laughs> but, it, but it's flying across it's the stage. It's supposed to be flying across so the stage. So either she has two on at the end, or she just dumped it at the end of the tunnel. She so might have. Just well, and it that. makes sense, too, because she needs to be able to sneak down under the stage. Right. Otherwise, it's just like, well, her face is <laughs> right. gone. But then, as she passed over the dressing room, the gun fired again, and Mr. Lintel, his life was taken. <laughs> well, Detective Crescend? Ah, once again, I'm reminded of something. Our performance that day. Your performance? Seeing the mixing board jogged my memory. You were here, there too, Air Forehead. Yeah. What is with today? <laughs> problem after problem. Ach, tune. <laughs> my hog won't start, my guitar keeps busted. My guitar's been burnt too crisp, but to top it off, someone's dead. And then there was that performance just now. <laughs> what was that all about? <laughs> this part is off. Which is that? Hmm, second guitar. Uh. It was you, Darian. I wondered why his second <laughs> guitar was off. I thought it strange at the time. How could you miss such a simple cue? I know you. I know how you play. You're better than that. Yeah, well, I, uh, I didn't attend any of the practice sessions, so, uh, <laughs> you what? And Prosecutor Gavin, what are you getting at? I'm talking about the murder weapon, Mr. Lips <laughs> is, uh, 45 caliber hand cannon. Oh! <laughs> As we have learned, even the shooter doesn't go unscarred with a revolver that size. The kickback is enough to dislocate your shoulder, if you're an amateur. Wait, you mean his plane was affected because he hurt himself shooting that revolver? Ha! You're forgetting something. Yes, Detective Crescent? I'm a trained police officer, you know. I've had firearms training. Plenty of it. <laughs> I'm no amateur. That still will kick you back enough. The standard firearm issued to police officers is a 38 caliber weapon. A much tamer beast. Also, the murder weapon belonged to the victim, Mr. Lip! <laughs> 
Which suggests there was a struggle between the killer and the victim. I think that's your favorite part of the case, is being able to <laughs> yes, sneeze, sneeze. His name. <laughs> I know, it's fantastic. So the killer might have been holding the revolver he might not have been holding the revolver correctly when he fired, but he might have as well. We don't really <laughs> we know. We don't really know. <laughs> is that what you mean? The thought had occurred to me, yes. It's just like whatever, man. Well, does the witness have anything to say to this? Detective Crescent? What I want to ask is what Mr. Sleeves rolled up ready for action has to say. Hey you, attorney. Me? Yeah, your sleeves <laughs> rolled up. Exactly which piece of evidence is decisive again. You got a little noise on a tape that could be anything. And you have an alleged guitar cue missed due to a 45 caliber kickback. I weep for this case, Gavin. I really do. You can line up your little weak pieces of evidence all you want. I didn't shoot that manager. And that's the obvious truth. Um... <laughs> hmm, the witness has a point. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he has literally no point. He's just like, I'm gonna fudge my way out of this and make the defense talk. <laughs> and, and fudge is delicious. <laughs> the defense's arguments, while persuasive, are not decisive. I believe we should hear what the witness has to say in response to the case so far. Your testimony, please, Detective Crescent. Tell us your reasons why you couldn't have done it. Yo, whatever, man. Proof of innocence. At least, like, at least he's they, better than the tiger. Why do they have red flags on the back? The <laughs> um, it's the, the Japanifornian flag. Just red? <laughs> red for purity. <laughs> Yo, dude, we just made a country. What flag should our color be? Red. red. <laughs> just That's red. That's basically the China flag. It just has, like, the stars on it. No, but it's on. got stars on it. Like, like a lot of flags. Okay, let's be honest. Most countries' flags are really boring. Where it's like, oh, it's Italy. It's We've got the stripes. free stripes. There's oh, it's Ireland. We have also have the free stripes. Germany, we have the free stripes as well. <laughs> Japan's just a dot. Japan is the most boring flag. I think it's And, and then half of them remember. just rip off the American flag. Uh, or maybe we ripped them off. Um, Cuba came after the Yeah, United yeah, States. that does. But I was trying to think of which countries you were thinking of. <laughs> England. England <laughs> the ripped Kingdom off. ripped off America. America. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Proof of innocence. Come on, why would I even want to kill that manager? You want a reason? Easy. I got no motive, man. No motive? This was the diva's first trip to this country, right? How could I possibly know her manager? If I didn't know him, why would I want to kill him? See, the connect the dots are just easy to connect up. You know the judge. The judge knows this kid that's gonna die of uh, incuritis, and, he, and this <laughs> oh, yeah. dude is the justice minister's yeah. son. And then this dude has the incuritis vaccine? Question mark. <laughs> the egg? Do you just like? Is this like Pocahontas, where you just rub or like hover the egg over the person? Then it's like this is like the, that's like the second time you brought up that specific Pocahontas scene in this life. It's play. so weird. I don't know why that scene is so strange, but it stuck out to me when I first watched the movie. Anyway, I'm hmm. wondering how that works. A simple reason, indeed. Prosecutor Gavin, is it the case that Mister Le Tooth uh, had never been to our country before? According to our records, yes. Not even once. You're an Interpol agent and you've never been to Japanifornia? Are you crazy? <laughs> he works in other international There's areas. so much violence and crime here. Look at all the cases um, we've done. <laughs> not compared to other... If you're really talking about America, America is one of the safest no, places No, America to live. is, for sure. But but I'm saying, this is Japanifornia. This is very different. Actually, Japan's pretty this safe, This is too. America. <laughs> Japan's pretty safe, too, actually. Like, I mean... I mean there are, there are parts of America that you probably don't want to walk around oh, yeah. alone. Oh, yeah. But or, there are parts or, of every country you don't want to walk, walk sure. alone. Sure, and, and there's, like, certain cities that you're like, oh, yeah, this is going to be kind of rough, but it's going to be fine. Like, yeah. you just got to Looking at you, Detroit. <laughs> Looking at you, Chicago. And, <laughs> oh, yeah. And New York. And Chicago and New York. I Honestly, I'm just going to stay away from big cities. I hate I, big I cities. I like New York. It was really cool when I went. But I also <laughs> was, like, very determined. I was just kind of, like, holding they my also purse. Shake Shack. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Shake Shack. That was where I had Shake Shack the first time. If there's one so thing, if there's one thing that the original Tobey Maguire Spider-Man taught me, it's that like crime happens in New York City like literally every three seconds. <laughs> it does not happen every three seconds. I mean, maybe New York is pretty darn here. I, I see. Very well, Mr. Justice, you may begin the cross examination. Great. Now I need to find a motive. This is not hard. This is kind of dumb when it's like I couldn't have done it because I had no reason to do it. Or you could just be a psychopath and have done it yeah. for kicks and giggles. For kicks and giggles. I didn't want to say the actual thing. <laughs> Anyhow, that's it for today. 
Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Tune in next time for more Sharknado testimony. Sharknado motives. Yeah. Sharknado. Maybe he just has the motive to bite. <laughs> he smelled his blood and it to was just bite. like... Bleh! To bite the bullet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyhow, have a great day and God bless. I can never pull off a good pun like that.